Hello, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We're back again with an exciting news for you. Have you ever wondered how nice it would be for you to be able to buy and download Flaming Sword books online from our own app? We have! And that's why we have just launched the Flaming Sword ebook store, where you can purchase and download our daily drama devotional and other materials that will sharpen your spiritual mind and strengthen your walk with the Lord. The Flaming Sword Ministry online ebook app is completely personalized just for you. It is user friendly with no lags, drags, or annoying glitches. Android users and iPhone users, what are you waiting for? Please head on to your Google Play Store or App Store to download the app today. And remember, remember to spread the word. God bless you. Hey there, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We come bearing glad tidings of joy. Please tell someone to tell someone that the Flaming Sword Ministries International now has an app. Yes, we just launched an app where you and your loved ones can watch all our exciting and life-changing movies and talk shows for free. You heard right. It's absolutely free at no cost to you. The Flaming Sword Ministry app is completely personalized for you. It features our short and full-length movies, talk show programs, and music videos. It's user-friendly, easy to navigate, and the picture quality is top-notch, HD quality. Android users can download the app from Google Play Store. iOS users can download the app from the Apple App Store. What are you waiting for? Head on now to the App Store to download the app today. And remember to spread the word. God bless you.
Disasters will come, destructions will come, but you must keep holding on. for safe trip there ah in fact as you can see 10 good years oh, wow without any hope of seeing again or living together as family ah today is a memorable day in my life and in our home daddy i've been praying to god to bring you home before my 10th year birthday <laughs> wow my dear hey and god has finally answered your prayer to God be the glory, my princess. Hmm. There, the truth must be told. You are dearly missed. Ha! Huh. Visiting you once in two years in Nigeria is not easy at all. Ha! Huh. Hmm. As you can even see, different temptations here and there. But God is faithful. Let's thank God for everything. I pray that our testimony will endure forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But come to think of it, where is Grandma? Grandma is at home. Grandma is at home? You know, it's been a long time there. I can't wait to see her again. Hmm. We will see her later. <laughs> what do you mean there? Are we not going home? Oh no. Pastor Jonathan said I should bring you first. But there, why the urgency? Ah, he said there is a message that he has for both of us and it has to be delivered first today. <sighs> today? Ah. Well, no problem. Um, you are welcome to Canada, Brother James. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> we thank God for his faithfulness over your family. As your wife's pastor, I can confidently say that the last nine years has been so challenging for your wife and your daughter. We, <laughs> see, we have waited in prayer and fasting but today we have seen the evidence of the manifestations of the faithfulness of god thank you so much pastor and pastor missus i don't know where to start from i can't thank you enough because if god has not placed you around my family i don't know what will have happened to them by now thank you so much Despite it all, God remains faithful. Hmm. Sister Anita, Smile. your waiting period <laughs> is over now. You can say that again, Pastor Mrs. <laughs> With God, yeah. absolutely nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. And to everyone who believes, 
God can never be late mm. to fulfill all his promises. Mm. Pastor, you will agree with me that trials and temptations are respecter of no persons. Mm. The last nine years really shook my feet. Mm. But just like Pastor Missy said, mm. through it all, God is faithful. Mm. 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 God uh, owes no man. He shows himself faithful to those who are also committed mm. to him and his purposes. Mm. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. You are welcome once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, actually, Brother James, the reason why I instructed your wife to bring you here first before going to your home is very crucial to your life and to that of your family. There. Um, you can go to the other living room with Eunice. That's fine. Eunice, let's leave the adults to have adult conversations. I Come see you. <laughs> yeah. Now, before I proceed, I have a question for you, Brother James. What is your plan here in Canada? I mean, what exactly do you have in mind to do here in Canada? Hmm. Thank you so much, Pastor. That is a big question. And your question has been a burden in my heart ever since I got the visa. Huh? I'm at the crossroad. I don't know what to do, but I'm trusting the Lord to show me the way, sir. I don't understand, sir. Hmm. Sir, I know I have a call of God upon my life. And the reason why I was delayed back in Nigeria for over nine years was because of my disobedience to this call. Hmm. Until I shared the burden with my wife, who encouraged me to accept the mantle to serve the Lord. My wife has been in Canada for over nine years, raising our only daughter alone. And more than before, I think she needs my support. Hmm. Good to hear. I have already asked your wife this same question. And I'm going to ask her again in your presence. Sister Anita. Yes, sir. What is your expectation for your husband? as both of you begin a new life together all over again. Ah, thank you, sir. It was during our courtship days several years ago hmm. that God has been speaking to me about him and the assignment that he has for me. Sincerely speaking, Pastor, hmm. my only expectation for him is to fulfill God's mandate for his life. Mm. And I am ready to support him. Mm. Doing this. Mm. Mm. May the Lord bless you, my daughter. Amen. I just want you to know that the journey ahead is a very tough one. Mm. But make sure you always remember this day Mm. and your promise to support him. Mm. My brother, there are several things God has revealed to me mm. about your family. Mm. But I will unfold them one at a time mm. as God allows me. Let's pray together. Mm. Thank you, sir. Father, I thank you for your children. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for how far you have been with them. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Jesus. We know that the end of a journey marked the beginning of another journey. Mm. Mm. This journey, O oh Lord, race with them. Amen. Mm. 
When he came to welcome Billy's back from school, and off, he went again. He must have been praying and studying the them. Ah, okay, let come me back check later. on. Come here, come here. I'll be meaning to ask. When will your husband finally settle down? It's been two weeks since he arrived from Nigeria, and all he does is pray, study the Bible, and watch TV. I think mommy. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. Isn't it too early to be talking a man into a job? Just two weeks of his arrival. Mm -hmm. exactly. Besides, we need this spiritual preparation and formation mm -hmm. so that we will not be lost in the shadow of this strange land. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Please keep praying along with us. <laughs> You're back. Oh, yes, there. What has God told our Moses? <laughs> I didn't even realize that time has gone this far. Yes, I know. There. I know. God's ultimate desire is to involve you in His work. But then, God does not depend on you or your personal strength or your ability or your resources. You are just only a channel and a vessel in His hands. So, my darling pastor, it's time to break your fast. Thank you, dear, for reminding me that. Oh. The Lord will help us. Don't worry. You have my support. I appreciate you, dear. Where is Eunice? Oh, she's already asleep. It's time to break fast, shall we? So, Brother James. Hmm. Pastor. God has been so faithful, sir. And the fashion is becoming stronger and stronger by the day. You will need to thank my wife on my behalf, sir. She has been so supportive. Thank God. My brother, everything you need is in God. 
And all you need is God himself. God has freely offered himself to you. He said, I will certainly be with you. So, fear not. And stop worrying. As he instructs, you just keep on obeying. Sir, but I still desire to be doing something before I fully launch into the ministry. I want you to get me right, sir. I don't have any problem with my wife. But my major concern in that house is my mother-in-law. And I don't want to come in between my wife and her mother as a peacemaker that I am. <sighs> By the way, God knows exactly what you need. And is more than sufficient to meet all your needs. He has... <laughs> He has enough provision to meet your need each day of the journey ahead of you. Just believe him. So, there is no basic for worry. But having said that, I would like to offer you a position of assistant pastor here in the church. Wow. Though, mm -mm, the money is not much. But, it will help you to reduce your financial burden, I believe. Wow. And help you learn more about ministry, Thank you, sir. especially here in Canada. I would like you to discuss it with your wife and pray about it. Take your time and get back to me. Thank you so much, Pastor. I will definitely discuss this with my wife and I promise I will get back to you as soon as possible on it. Good. Do not let your quest for dollars which are consumables rob you of the greater plans of God for your life. God's purpose for you is to bring you into the land with abundant wet, eternal peace and of course rest and to deliver to you an eternal inheritance that is incorruptible, inexhaustible and indestructible. May the Lord help you to trust him absolutely as you keep looking up to him by faith for all your needs each day of your journey amen. here on earth. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. I can't thank you enough. You're welcome. Dear, what do you want to do now? <laughs> I don't know there, but I think it will help us to learn a lot regarding the ministry. It will serve as a training ground for us to learn how to run the ministry, particularly in this part of the world. Hmm. Hmm. That is true. There is no true wisdom outside Jesus Christ. No true knowledge apart from doing the will of God. No true life apart from living only for Jesus and his purposes. There, I will forever support you in everything that will lead you to this purpose. Oh. With God, <laughs> absolutely nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. And to everyone that believes, no time is ever too late to receive that which God has promised. Yes, that is true. I will get back to Pastor tomorrow. I will let him know what we have decided. I think that would be good. Then I think I can sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Do you still want to do something? I know you are a pastor, you want to pray. Please pray for me. Church, when are you going to settle down, James? It's been over a year since you arrived from Nigeria and you have been doing the same thing 
every day in the name of the ministry. So, and it's been your wife that has been working in order to pay the bills. I don't understand you, ma. Mm. Did my wife complain to you that I'm not performing my responsibility as a husband? You are not, James. You are not. You are trained in IT. What is stopping you from getting a good job and combining it with your calling? Being a pastor doesn't stop you from working. Don't be a lazy man. Don't be a busy man. Rise up and face your responsibility. With all due respect, Grandma, mm -hmm. I don't deserve this insult from you. By the way, why are you taking this personal? <laughs> hey, you don't know anything yet. This is just the beginning. I will make this house unbearable for you until you rise up and do the right thing. Lazy pastor. and your daughter are doing? Oh, they are doing fine. Thank you. I hope he has gotten something doing now. Yeah, I remember you told me that he's Cisco certified. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of IT opportunities here in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Getting a job shouldn't be a problem for him at all. Well, it is well. Keep praying along with us. <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? Well, ladies, the truth of the matter is my husband is going into full-time ministry so we're not looking into getting any secular job hmm? <laughs> no wonder i told you jane i need to need help huh? help have you ever solicited help from you before anita it is not until you solicit for help that you actually need one Look, Anita, you are dying silently and you need to voice out. Hey, who even told you that in this part of the world, you can't still work and do ministry? My husband is pastoring a church of over 500 active members and yet he has a flourishing career. Stop fooling yourself with this uh, ministry thing. Oh, thank you, ladies. We are okay and we are just doing fine, okay? You are not doing fine, Anita. You need to wake up and put your husband to work. Hmm. Look, Anita, we came into this country together. But we are no longer on the same level because you are running a two-man race alone. Hmm. Oh, of what use is a ministry when your home is suffering? No, let me, let me speak in a language that you understand. See, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 11 says that whoever works his land will have plenty of bread. But he who follows worthless pursuits, lack sins. Um, it's not as if I'm saying your husband is worthless or lack sins, but the fact of the matter is that something is not right. And you have to fix it. Fix it as soon as possible before it becomes an issue for you. Excuse me, ladies. Hello there. Hope oh, all is well. Yeah. I'm not fine at all. Grandma have started again. And the way she's been talking to me for the past six months is becoming unbearable. Yes, she has no single regard for me in this house as your husband. Take it easy, dear. Where are you now? 
I'm already in the car, about to go to church, but I'm not even feeling like going anywhere again. Please, you need to pull yourself together. Avoid any confrontation with her. I will handle it when I get home, okay? Okay, thank you so much, dear. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Thank you, ladies, for your advice. I will pray about it and I will take the necessary actions. Okay? Mm. Thank you. Okay. What do you guys have? Do I get a coffee mm. too? Yeah. Oh, I just I like to have some yeah. coffee. Yeah. Have some coffee. Yeah, just to say. Oh, kids. What's wrong with me? I mean, am I all right? Hmm. For how long will this continue? All he does is to pray. Old series of counseling sessions with the pastor while I walk around the clock to pay the bills. Hmm. His family members back in Nigeria keep on asking for money. And he responds on the phone as if he's the one providing for the family. Lord, I need the grace to carry on. Let me be like a big girl that stood in gap for Nabal in the sight of David. Lord, please help me. <laughs> Yeah. Your food is cold already. And you're not even making any attempt to get out of this room. Hmm. Mm. I hope it's not what I am thinking. It is well with us. But. Yeah. No, but, dear. I have been observing you for the past few weeks now. As a matter of fact, since we received instructions from God to hand over the church to someone else, you have practically withdrawn from everything. Should we choose to disobey God and later face the consequences? Or should we trust God as we launch out into the deep and cast our nets? Exodus 19.5 says, now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations, you will be my treasured possession because the whole earth is mine. Lord, help us to do your will. Let your Holy Spirit help us through in Jesus' name. Amen. I know what exactly is going through your mind about what people will say. <laughs> but my dear pastor, those people that you are thinking about were not there when God called you. They were not there when he was molding and preparing you for the ministry. They were not there when of his mercy he handed all these precious souls to you. They were not there when God gave you specific instructions to hand over the church. 
I should be the most worried. But I chose to support you as we obey God together. Thank you so much, dear. It is well with us. Amen. Please, get up and eat your breakfast. Thank you. Well, I'll see you later. at the time. Are you not going to bed? Why should I go to bed <clears throat> without seeing you? <sighs> but come to think of it, you've been coming late these days. Did you change your job? Ah, no, mom. I'm still at the same office. It's just that... You've been working extra hours, right? Anita, wake up. Eh? Wake up. Look at the time. Your so-called husband is not back from the church since morning. How long are you going to do this, Anita? Hmm? How long? It's only a lazy man that abandons his responsibility in the name of ministry. Mommy, it is work. Keep praying with us. Prayer? Yes, Mommy. Prayer. Nothing as seed prayers. And one more thing, Mom. Stop attacking my husband just mm. because he's not working. Mm. I deeply appreciate your concern. For us, for sincerely, Ma, I don't support that idea of you talking to him anyhow. Anita, Anita. Mom, please go to bed. Good night. See you tomorrow. I must confess to you, my home is boiling as we speak now. Why? Because my mom and my husband no longer see eye to eye. Ah, I don't know what to do. Kate, I'm so confused. Anita, you permitted this in the first place, so you're the only one who can fix this. I don't know how to handle this issue. I know for sure mm -hmm. that my husband has a mandate, but at the same time... This is Canada. It's a foreign land. Mm -hmm. And to be able to serve God with ease, you need money. I mean, for how long are you all going to survive on your income? You pay the bills, you practically handle all his responsibilities at home. Huh. Let me tell you the truth. These days, no one wants to go to a church where the pastor is still struggling because they don't think their money will be safe. Ah, Catherine, why are you talking like an home believer? Ah, are people giving their money to God or to pastor? I don't like what you are talking about. Look at you. You don't understand church planting techniques. See, my husband has four flourishing businesses and at the same time we have a church of mm, 2,000 members Christianity has gone beyond this level this is Canada ah Anita mm. ah Lord let your will be done I'm completely
completely confused right now. You don't have to be confused. Um, if you don't know how to handle this, I will speak to my husband about it and you can come over and speak to your husband, okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gertrude. I will keep you posted. Yes, please ah, do. It's all right. It's all right. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ah, dear. Good night. Can I please have a word with you? Sure. Hope all is well. Hmm. I'm sure you understand the situation around us. But I choose not to talk about it. However, day by day, the urge for us to rethink this decision keeps coming to me. For the sake of peace in our home and the future of our daughter, I would like us to have you rethink about this. I don't understand this rethink you are talking about. What exactly is the issue? James, we need an extra income. The body that I'm carrying every day is beginning to tell on me. I need help and I need it so urgently. And what happens to the vision? I mean the call of God upon our lives. <clears throat> Nothing will happen to this vision and those assignments. In fact, we can run the two together. It is not good for us to launch out into this ministry in this condition. We barely have any monthly savings, which is not too good for us. Hmm. Anita, when it comes to important decisions like this, which one should take priority? Is it our self-will or the will of God? Uh -uh. Which one is self-will? Which one is the will of God? I'm only trying to explain to you that we can do the ministry and still keep our job at the same time. This is Canada. Ministry is not done the same way it's been done in Africa. Hmm. Anita, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Have you forgotten that it is the same God here in Canada and the rest of the world? And he will never change his standard or his principle because we are here in Canada. And the Bible says that that servant who knew his master's will and failed to do it shall receive many stripes. And that servant who did not know the master's will and did not do it will receive few stripes. Anita. For everyone to whom much is given, much is required. And to whom much has been committed, more will be asked from that person, Anita. But I'm not stopping you from fulfilling God's will. I just need you to understand me, James. God has given you a lucrative career that can take care of our home. At the same time, help the ministry. We need to be why is a serpent? Oh. Anita, is this what you truly really want for me? Yes, James. <sighs> Am I asking too much? Okay. I would like you to give me some time to pray about it. James, time is the essence of life. And hope delayed make the earth see. But a fulfilled desire is a tree of life. Ah, Anita. Good night, my ah. Good night, ma. Good night, ma. How you think about it?
Good evening, Grandma. Ah, 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 ah. Welcome, my son. How are you today? How are you? I'm pretty very well. God bless you. Mm. Now you see that it's good to work. It gives you more respect and adds value to you. Grandma, you will not change. Okay. Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Got him. Lazy man. All in the name of ministry. Who dare to kill my daughter for me? Now you know how it feels to work for me. Fall to you. Thank you. Hi, my love. How was your first day at work? Too tiring. Don't worry. You will soon get used to working in Canada. Besides, your pay almost double mine. It's worth it. So, because I got a cease. If you got job, I should kill myself. There? Are you still there? Why the sudden pause? I just remember the money we both received before we left Nigeria. Are we not working against it now? You know if it is in Nigeria. It would have been easier, but not here. We pay bills on almost everything. Dear, but you told me you also received the same instruction. Why the sudden change now? Are you not happy that we are having more money? So you are happy that I'm the only one working and you are not considering my health as well? Okay, never mind. I just got to let you know that I'm home already. I love you. Sir, I've been trying to join my family in Canada for the past nine years. And they keep rejecting my application for visa. Yet, you told me you have an assignment for me in Canada. When and how? <laughs> my son, God does his work at the exact time. The vision is for an appointed time. Although it may tarry, but wait for it. Your job is not to figure out when, but you just have to make up your mind never to give up until you cross the finish line. But when you know that it's not yet time, why don't you allow my wife and my daughter to come and join me here? After all, they are ready to come home. It's just that we keep relying on your promises. <laughs> James! The eternal assignment I have for you is not here. It's over there. But you are the one delaying your going over there. Me? How? Until you grow up to trust me. 
If you lose your peace and joy, it's because you're not trusting God enough. If you are tired, worn out and weary, it's because you're not trusting God well enough. <sighs> Believing gives you rest. One more thing. I have set you apart for this assignment. And this assignment alone. An assignment? I don't understand. <laughs> My son, I know you. I have warned you before. I know you well because I formed you. I don't want money to come between us. When you get over there, it's most likely that you become so unfocused when you start making money. When you go over there and start working and making money, you are likely to be unfocused towards the assignment given you. But if I work there and make money, is it not to support your assignment with the money I'm making? <laughs> yes, my son. I give assignment to many different people. And different specifications are attached to those assignments. Some I permit to work and make money, while I do not permit some. But you belong to the category of the latter. What? Category of not to? That can't be possible. <laughs> How? How will I take care of my needs? What about, about my, my family? family? This, this is unfair. unfair. Some I permit some to work permit and, to make work money. And, and make money. money. While I do not while permit I some. Do not permit some. But you belong to the category of the latter. Let's just begin to thank God for today and thank God for this family. Mm. Let's celebrate God for the Robert family, for Sister Anita, mm. for Eunice. Mm. Give God praise for our yes. husband. Just join me as we thank God together and say thanks. 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 We give you thanks for My dear daughter, I command you to obey my instructions today so that you may live, increase, enter and possess the land that I have promised you. Remember how I led you to this part of the world and remember how your husband got his visa to come and work for me and me alone in this part of the world. You need to encourage your husband to do only the assignment that you both have come here to do. My assignments amongst individuals are different. So also are my instructions. Do not compare yourself with the other people. I made you unique to fulfill a purpose here. If you forget to obey these instructions, I testify against you today that you will lead the rest of your life to regret your actions. I don't understand again. Today is the sixth Sunday, but that James has not been coming to church. And I warned him against that offer when he told me he would be working on some weekend. Mm. I asked after him from his wife, Anita, in church today. 
And what did she say? What she said didn't make a lot of sense to me. Something about because he's an IT expert, he has to travel out of town often and he also has to work most weekends. So is that the reason why he cannot even attend any of the services, including the midweek ones? Let me give her a call. Okay. Good evening, Pastor. Hello, Sister Anita. How are your niece and grandma? How are they doing? Oh, we are all fine, sir. I forgot to give Eunice a request in church today. What was the request that Eunice made? <laughs> Don't worry. That is between us, not you. <laughs> my sister, my wife and I are deeply concerned about the attitude of your husband lately. Mm -hmm. We have not been seeing him in church anymore. And any time we call him, he doesn't pick our calls anymore. What is going on? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Honey, can I call you back? I'm on the other line with the pastor. So, he has called you too. Oh, why are you avoiding his call? Pick it and just tell him once and for all. Okay, I'll call you later. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Is that your husband? Oh no no it's just it's just a friend sir. It's just a friend. Ah, based on your concern, sir. Uh, presently my husband is not in town, and he's not going to be around for some time. But sir, he, he always send his tithe. Even whenever he's not around, he send his tithe to church. God needs to accept him first before he accept his tithe. In replacement of the glorious eternal assignment God has given to you? Huh. Huh. Hello, this is Alita from Rock and Shield Limited. Who is calling? My name is Elizabeth, calling from KK Company, Montreal. Are you Mrs. Roberts? Yes, how may I help you? Your husband. What happened to my husband? Please talk to me, please, please. What happened? Calm down, Mrs. Anita. It's under control. <sighs> What's under control? What's under control? Please talk to me. What's under control? Was rushed to our company hospital early this morning. He had slight accidents.
dahin. God has promised to use us mighty. Oh. As promises, the journey ahead of us is still very far. Ah, my husband must not die like this. Anita. Just come and take a seat. Come take a seat. Get some rest. By the way, where is Eunice? She's with Grandma at all. I don't want her to see her father in this state. Consequences of our disobedience and love for money. Oh. James, sir, why have you come this early? I wasn't expecting you at this time. I have come because of its urgency. Urgency? I have not even started the assignment I was given to do. I don't bother anymore. It wouldn't be necessary. My son, your time is up. Someone else has been appointed to take over your assignment. Ah. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I didn't realize the urgency of this assignment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I thought I had enough time. That's why I choose to settle my family first before I launch into this assignment. Hmm. James, and the servant who knew the will of his master and prepared not neither carried out the assignment, shall be bitten with many stripes. You had all the time, and you were privileged enough to know the will of the Master, but you failed to carry it out. Son, I'm taking you home. I am so sorry, sir. I beg of you. Kindly allow me to say farewell to my wife before I follow you. Please. James, don't you realize that a mind with eternity in view will help you establish a daily living that places God's purpose and plans as a priority, which is much more than yours? A light that glorifies God is a light that does us weird. There is never any time or moment or day that we can live without the will of God. Sir, I'm so sorry. I beg of you. Kindly give me a second chance. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm ready. <laughs> I promise you I'm ready this time around. <laughs> Just another chance, Lord. You are full of mercy. I missed it. My son, it's time for your homecoming. Come with me. Eunice, what do you want me to do? Your dad's time is up. But you, O oh Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious of suffering and abundant mercy and truth. Please show your mercy on your own. How can I live without my dad? <sighs> my baby.
I will be your father and your provider. You will lack absolutely nothing. But your dad has to go now. You've always had my back. I thought it'd always be so. And when you held my hands, you promised never to let go. Go. But now pressure's getting higher, and you try to push me into the run. I'm trying not to lose you, but would you be happy when I'm finally gone? 'Cause I'm going home. Won't see me again now. Was busy chasing shadows. Now the glory is gone. The clock is ticking. Don't wanna lose you. Please help me tell my daughter, Daddy loves us so dearly. You know I love you, but I've got to leave now. I disobeyed the father, and now. How are you doing, Anita? Oh my Lord, thanks for coming in this most difficult time of our family. Thank you. I came for your husband. Oh, thank you for coming to heal him. Ah, he's ready to go into the ministry. He's going to quit his job as soon as he's fine. I'm ready to support him fully. It's too late. Ah. I have come to take him home because I don't want him to miss heaven. By the way, your assignment has been given to another family from Uganda, oh. and they'll be coming here very soon. Oh. Lord have mercy! They have to come to finish the unfinished work. <laughs> mercy, Lord. Oh. Oh, mercy. <laughs> mercy. Now, listen to me. I have not come to negotiate about your husband's homecoming. Oh. I just want you to know that the blood of the sinners that your husband refused to preach to oh. and win over to Christ shall be asked of you. Oh. Mercy. Mercy. You know, taking your husband home at this time it's an act of mercy on my part because I don't want him to miss heaven. Likewise, leaving you to have a second chance is an act of mercy on my part because presently you have no part with me. <laughs> One who is given a little assignment and is faithful in that little is also faithful in much. And who is dishonest in the little assignment is dishonest in much. You had all your time, but there was a time limit, and you wasted everything. Look at him. to come home just getting higher and you try to push me into the run I just remember the morning we both received before we left Nigeria working against it now are you not happy that we are having more money so you are happy that I'm the only one working and you are not considering my health as well the clock is ticking, don't want to lose you. Please help me tell my daughter, daddy loves us so dearly. You is that your husband? 
Oh no, no, it's just, it's just a friend. I disobeyed the father and now he has come for me. I'm going home. Oh, thought I'd no! But you instructed me to hand over the church on the 28th anniversary of the church. The church will clock 20 years in the next two months, but it's gone. Who are you talking about? James Robert. What about him? Ha. Huh. You showed me in a vision on three different occasions several months before he relocated to Canada, that your son is coming from Nigeria, and that when he comes, I will know. The week he was to arrive, you confirmed to me again that I should ask his wife to bring him to my house, even before going to the house. What this I did. When he arrived again, you confirmed to me that it was the one that would take over from me. You want me not to tell him until it is two months to the time. Sir, today is exactly two months to the 28th anniversary of the church, but he's gone. <laughs> My word does not change. When I say something, it comes to pass. I have proposed in my heart, and it will happen. James Robert is gone, but my word remains. I have raised another son to replace him. He will be arriving in Canada next week with his entire family. His name is Bartholomew Daniel. He is from Uganda. But I don't know him. <laughs> Just like you didn't know James Roberts. You know me and my words. He is coming to replace him and is going to take over from you. He is a missionary. 
and is a man full of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Fear not, my son. Ah. Ha. Ha. Woe to him who strives with God who formed him. Does the clay say to him who formed it, what are you making? Or your work has no handles. Woe to him who says to a father, what are you begotten? Or to a woman, with what are you in labor? Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and the one who formed him, ask me of things to come. Will you command me concerning my children and the work of my hand? I made the earth and created man on it. It was my hand that stretched out the heavens, and I commanded all their host. I have stirred him up in righteousness, and I will make all his ways level. He shall build my city and set my exiles free, not for price or reward. Says the Lord of hosts. You've always had my back. I thought it'd always be so. And when you held my hands, you promised never to let go But now pressure's getting higher And you try to push me into the run I'm trying not to lose you But would you be happy when I'm finally gone Cause I'm going home won't see me again now Was busy chasing shadows Now the glory is gone The clock is ticking Don't wanna lose you Please help me tell my daughter Daddy loves us so dearly You know I love you But I've got to leave now I disobeyed the father And now he has come for me I'm going home. Oh, I thought I'd conquer the world.